Do you think that the deflation pressure when it comes to production prices, uh, producer prices rather, will continue? Well, the short answer is the uh, Chinese economy has been stabilizing, but it is still very unbalanced. And today's inflation print is a great example of this unbalanced growth. It's basically showing a tale of two economies. One is a very strong exports manufacturing-based economy, but the other one is a very weak domestic demand on the consumption side. As you mentioned, PPI has bottomed. In fact, PPI turned positive month on month for the first time in seven months, largely thanks to strong external demand. But domestic demand reflected by the subdued CPI remained very weak. So I think the economy headline growth seems to be fine, but it's very unbalanced. It's a tale of two economies. Yeah, Robin, I mean, you say that obviously it's bottom out and this number is perhaps a reflection of those exports, but it seems like those outbound shipments are the only thing going for the Chinese economy right now. But it doesn't look sustainable if you look at the import growth that we saw last month, which is a precursor for those future exports. And it's not what President Xi Jinping wants anyway, because that's part of dual circulation. So where's the growth coming from if you're looking at CPI down 0.1% month on month? That's a great question. Uh, we think China is still in this uh, non-draw battle against the deflation. And uh, with all this subdued and unbalanced growth, there are two ways to address this deflation problem. One is uh, given the housing downfall, shifting credit or resources from housing to manufacturing. That's what they have been doing in most of the time of the last two years. But the problem of this way is it creates a further overcapacity, oversupply in the manufacturing sector. And we don't think China can reflate based on exports. The economy is too big. And as you said, the spillover effect to domestic consumption, domestic job market is relatively small because now their manufacturing and exports are more based on automation, based on mm. this modernized industrial production line, which is creating less and less jobs. So the yes. second way, which is the way we are proposing, is rebalancing towards domestic consumption, spending the government money, the fiscal deficit on social welfare to broaden the coverage for migrant workers. That could unleash the consumption potential. We have seen some green shoots, like they have been talking about the third plenum in July, covering this uh, social welfare reform to broadening its coverage. We need that to rebalance, to reflate. As of now, the supply-centric policy is insufficient to reflate the economy.